All right, guys, welcome to Grimm's Gaming. We're going to be doing a playthrough of Star Ocean, the second story. Um, let's go ahead and start with inter introductions, um, since we're brand new to the whole streaming thing. So on my channel, you'll see me pretty much on every single thing that we do. Eventually, people might start doing solo stuff and posting it still into Grimm's Gaming, but I'm my name's Curtis, Baron Grimm's, Grimm's Gaming, Drown a Box of Kittens. I've got a lot of names. <laughs> Um, oh, that one. all you kitten lovers, go ahead and disregard that last one. I, I don't actually kill kittens, I promise. So laughing over here really stupidly, this, this is a... Oh, thanks. This is my friend Shark, or Kelsier Zero. Um, he's a friend right. of mine from... We've yeah, been it's... friends, what, two years? Two years? Something like that. But anyway, um, my wife and I were friends with Shark before we got married. Um, now that we are married, he comes over and stays with us basically ev almost every weekend, maybe every other weekend now. You guys need friends. I think you're the one that needs a friend. Touche. So, we call him our pet shark. I don't Just... even know how to react to that. <laughs> so he's here with me doing Star Wars in the second story. He's actually going to be one of the more common guests, co-hosts. Yeah. Co-commentators, okay. co-players, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, he'll probably be one of the more static ones because he's got a lot more free time to do stuff like this yeah. with me. So, anyway, today we're doing Star Wars in the Second Story. For those of you that haven't heard of it, it's an RPG. It's two players. Um, we're skipping Star Ocean the first story, whatever the heck it was. First Departure was what it was. Uh, what... It was just called Star Ocean when it came out, but the remake or re-release was called First Departure, I think. Anyway, we're skipping that one. We don't care. Um, Star Wars in the Second Story, we're doing the PlayStation version of it on the PlayStation disc on a PS3. Because the only thing that I've got two controllers for right now. Anyway, starting it up, we wanted you guys to get the whole PlayStation logo in this stuff. PlayStation. Dude, they did that little, like, PlayStation thing at the end of each of the... No, I, rem I remember uh, the PlayStation voice, and I remember the whole, like, PlayStation logo being flashed, but I don't yeah, remember the TV ads. The TV ads for almost all the games would have that. Like, I, I can't remember any of the individual ads, but I remember the logo. And, yeah, uh, I guess... Okay, this doesn't ever get replayed. Maybe it'll get replayed if we do Claude's story. I don't think it does. Okay, well, anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead and post the opening credits, just for completionist's sake. Um, maybe on the YouTube video we'll put a, uh, we'll put a little, like, fast-forward button. You can, like, fast-forward to here, and it'll take you to when we actually start the game. Yeah. We'll probably put that on anyway, just so that way if you don't care who we are, you can skip. So, we previously did a playthrough. At the, at the beginning of the game, you'll see you get to pick two different characters. We did one. We were doing one as the girl. But then, like a total idiot, I went through and I deleted the whole first 45 minutes of gameplay. And the game capture device that I have, like, it was set up in such a way that, like, once deleted, you can't recover. Because what I did was I just deleted a clip off of a video. So the file itself it still existed. It just chopped off, like, the first so many bytes of the file. And they weren't even dumped into the, re into the recycle bin. So I couldn't, re I couldn't restore it. So what we're going to do is, since it had a guy and a girl version anyway, we're just going to play through as the guy now. Because, actually, I think the story for the... No, because then if we play through as the guy, we don't get to get DS. What's his face? Yeah, well, well, we'll do this first segment as the guy, at least, and then... Yeah, we'll at least play through the starting portion as a guy, then we might go back to our save file with the girl. But, anyway. So just some background on Star Ocean games. Uh, we kind of explained most of this in the lost footage the uh, the lost books <laughs> we called them this called them the sealed archives <laughs> the sealed archives um but star ocean universe essentially you have this hyper developed earth where we've long since gone into space started colonizing certain planets um we don't have um do we have the Earth anymore, or is the Earth not inhabitable anymore? I don't remember. In The Last Hope, they say that the Earth's uninhabitable, but they never really specify in Star Ocean 1 and 2. 
Yeah. Anyway, Star Ocean 1 and 2 basically just dump you on this world that's another world in the universe, and then a guy from Earth will show up, and you'll have a character from Earth and characters from this other universe, or this other planet. Um, as we go through, we'll kind of give you a little bit more backstory on, on kind of what's going on there. We'll try not to, like, give away anything that's, like, part of the game experience itself. We'll try to give you just some of our knowledge of the Star Ocean universe from other games. Yeah, so the advanced Earth civilization has a thing similar to Star Trek's Prime Directive, where they don't want to provide technical knowledge to underdeveloped planets, as they describe them. So... That comes into play quite a bit in the series as a whole, and each and in each individual Only the game. The vast reaches of outer space can hold the myriad dreams of ten billion people and still show them its infinite possibilities. Countless dreams expand through the vastness of space, but of course, some of them I are nightmares. The screen's supposed to be black. I'm yeah, we, guess, yes. we didn't get that on the girls' playthrough. Now, I am here. All right. That was a lot more backstory than I ever remembered getting for this game, because I always played as a girl. Planet Millicinia. Yeah, see, so you're part of some of, like, the military. I think the guy's probably going to have a more complete story. Yeah. I think so, too. That's one of the troubles with games like this, with two different main characters, is oftentimes one of them has a more complete story. I think we did talk about that did, in the footage with Rena, because that happened while we were in the dungeon. Is that Did that happen while we were in the dungeon? That's when we were talking about it. We were talking about it while I was locked up in the manor, and that's in video number two, which we still have. <laughs> and we may post it online for you, if we don't abandon it. That one might not have to go into the sealed archives. We're not sure yet. <laughs> you mean it might not get lost? Uh, it, it'll still be there. We just may or may not post it online. Oh, yeah. Spectral analysis. By the way, our, our last video... I'm Okay, so I was talking about this. I'm going to try to like remember to keep going through the chat, even if Shark and I are talking. Deadly weapon phase gun. Sweet. I gave a random guy a deadly weapon phase gun? I told you. <laughs> it's Look at the name of it. I'm pretty sure they simplified the name when they retranslated it, but yeah. I just like entrusted it to a random guy in an underdeveloped planet. I said, here, here is deadly weapon, weapon phase, phase gun. gun. Yeah. Yeah. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> He's not even going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. I'm giving you my weapon. I'm giving Wait, you deadly you weapon. Wait, are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's dangerous for me to leave, so I'm giving you my weapon. <laughs> yeah. 
apparently the phase gun will shoot when you press the L1 button. Oh, is apparently it, the phase gun has an L1 button on it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should get into the business of like making like video game based guns, but like the triggers on them are like called like R2. It says like R like R2 is like etched in on it. <laughs> You could totally market to the whole like gaming gun gunman crowd. Uh, Cuz there's lots funny. of gamers that buy guns and they'd love to yeah. have a gun from a game that actually shoots and has an R2 trigger. <laughs> uh, who would build such a thing and why? Um it's a giant door. Maybe really tall people would build it. The walls have, like, brain membranes. What? Like, look at them. They're, they got, like, I don't know. I just think brains when I look at it. <laughs> brains! It's ancient civilization, man. It's going to be, like, hyper, like, intelligent. Yeah, so... The building the itself, building itself is... is made out of a brain. Yeah. Or brains of people. <laughs> I wonder if that's how the anti-spiral worked in Gurren Lagann. Because, you know, they, like, arranged all their bodies into, like... Hmm. Transistor shape. Hmm. I think that was in the last video. Are talking about Gurren Logon. We so talked a lot about Gurren Logon. And... We talked about the "Who the hell do you think I am?" kick. That was yeah. in there. Yeah. So, um, Gurren Logon. Go watch it if you haven't. G U R R E N L A G A N N. You could probably watch the whole series by the time this cutscene continues, judging by how it's going. Oh, you know. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was I, I tried using the I tried using the dual the left stick and the left stick didn't do anything and oh. I remembered it's because I have to go in here on my PS3 and tell it to allow the analog <laughs> stick. Good I was job. like I was like oh this cutscene's still going like I can't control yet. Um, uh, well done. Go back to the camera. We want to switch it back to normal. For when we finally get to play two players. See, it brings it up now. What the heck? It's because she's a mage. But there's a way to. It's only. It's only. It's because she's a mage. Because she's a mage, she can't assign things to buttons. You actually have to go through the menu and cast her spells. Uh, hmm. All right. Well. Now we just need to figure out how to get two players on this. I know. Maybe you should like pull out your tablet and look up a <laughs> tutorial. This is, this is shiny. It must have some importance in our quest. So, uh, hyper-advanced technological human race can't figure out that there's a little control panel off to the side <laughs> on this door. <laughs> we have to get the 17-year-old to go do it. There's something here. It's a button. Do we push the button? <laughs> it may have something to do with the door. Yeah, that's probably a good guess. I feel like this is unnecessary. Like, they could have just, like, had somebody go slap the button and then you go inside. Like, they didn't have to yeah. give me control for this. Artificial game lengthener, man. Right here. Only if you forget to turn on your controller properly. It's still, even, <laughs> even if I had done it right, this would still be taking five minutes, alright? That's true. But that's still five fewer minutes. We do need to try and we do need to try and keep these videos a little bit shorter, man. That first, okay. our last footage, our first episode was like forty five minutes long. Yeah. I, we were trying to get to a battle, and the first one didn't give us a battle within forty five minutes. And we finally just said, you know what, we're done. We're gonna cut the video. Okay. Yeah. But we should shorten them. We may not get to a battle. We so. probably won't get to a battle. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. We may actually get to fight the apes. Oh since yeah, we're we might. Claude. We might get to fight Donkey Kong this time. <laughs> yeah. This is a save point. Wonder what those other people are looking at this for. They're like, wonder what that is. Or I want to like walk in. Point, I want to walk into a walk into a, like a real life save point and have like a voice like boom down at me from the sky. This be like, is a save point. You can save your game using a memory <laughs> card. The memory cards can be purchased for fifteen dollars separately. <laughs> be like, well, I'm in Star Ocean. Oh wait, I should I should create a save. Yeah, file. you should probably save it, just in case. Let's not save over the uh, yeah just yeah the file for the lost footage. 
You can see we wop, we put on a whop in hour and 35, 35 minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're already at eight minutes on this video. That's including the explanation of the game. We should probably already cut right now. This is like 15 minutes. Yeah. How in heavens does that device function? Let's walk into it and see. Maybe... Nah, maybe. I'm 17 and retarded. Yeah. Maybe we should stop right there so that, you know, there's that tension for when the second episode starts. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Claude, come back now! Do not approach that device! And you'll find out what happens next time on Grimm's Gaming. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> in the second story. Thanks for watching, guys. If right. you want to keep watching, we'll go ahead and throw this into a playlist so that way it autoplays the next one. But uh, we want to try and keep these a little bit shorter. Yeah. So thanks, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep.